When it comes to remodeling your kitchen, the main focal point are the cabinets. And not surprisingly, this is the most expensive portion of your renovation. You know, when the styles change, the cabinets start to look dated. And we understand not everybody has the budget to just simply replace the cabinets. So today, we're gonna show you another option that updates the look of the kitchen without breaking the bank. Today's video is all about refinishing your cabinet. Whether you're an owner looking to prepare your home for sale, or you're a buyer who just purchased and looking to refresh the look at the kitchen, very few things give you that return on investment quite like a kitchen remodel does. And at the same time, very few things can eat into your budget like a kitchen renovation. There's a couple of things that we wanna point out that a lot of people forget to budget for when looking at new cabinets. The first thing is the cost of insulation. A lot of times people are focusing on the cost of the cabinets themselves, but forget that there is a cost associated with the installation. Another one is plumbing modifications. Oftentimes the cabinets you're purchasing are not gonna be the exact same dimensions of what you currently have in place. So you may have to apply some modifications to the plumbing in order for them to fit properly. Now, if those two items that we just spoke about put you above your financial comfort level, well, then that's where refinishing the current cabinets comes into play. Now, I only start off by educating our customers about the process of refinishing. Because once you see what a labor intensive job it is, well, then you're gonna understand why it's not as cheap as you may think or as quick as they show it is on HGTV. First off, all of the doors and the hardware need to be removed. We then take those off site because the second step of this process is gonna get pretty messy. The second step, we sand down every single door. We do this because just like painting a wall, you need to get it to a state in which the door itself can accept paint. That means you sand it down, you then have to apply primer to it, let that dry, then you can paint. If you were to just simply paint over what's currently on the cabinets, well, they would look painted and they just wouldn't come out right and you can expect them to start chipping in less than one year. And we move on to the third step. Once that primer has dried, we apply the first coat of paint to every single cabinet. Next, once that coat of paint is dry, we'll apply that second coat of paint and we'll let it dry for a full day. Now in the next step, we'll go back to the home without the cabinet doors and we'll do that same process with the cabinets themselves. We'll have to sand them down, prepare them for paint, because remember, you're gonna want the cabinet doors to match the cabinets themselves. So that process that we did with the doors, we basically repeat that with the cabinets. Now, once the cabinets have dried, we bring all of the doors and drawers and hardware back onto site, and we start the reinstallation process. Once everything's been installed, we do some final touch-ups to make sure that everything looks perfect. So. All in all, that's gonna be about an eight day process of removing all of your doors, your hardware, taking them off site, sanding them down, priming them, painting them, then moving on to the cabinets, doing the same thing, bringing everything back onto site, installing touch-ups, final product. Now, you understand all of the labor associated with the job. Let's talk about how much is this gonna cost? So while pricing out the cabinets are always gonna be a little bit different because every set of cabinets is different from the one we did before, I can give you a guide and this will be helpful for you to kind of price this out for yourself. Now picture in advance, the more plain that the cabinet is, the easier it is for us to do. So just a flat panel cabinet, you can expect that door to be in like the $120, $130 range. Now as the design becomes more intricate and there's more little spaces for us to sand, well now it becomes more expensive. You can plan on that being about $150 per door. But you also have to do the drawers, and the drawers are not as large as the door, so they're less expensive. Same thing, you can expect the more simple drawers to be in like, you know, the $30, $40 range, where the more comprehensive sanding jobs, um, it's gonna come down to about $50 per drawer. And obviously we have to put all the hardware back on, so if you have some really tough hardware to work with, that's gonna be an extra cost. We usually will include that with the price. Now, you also have the cabinets themselves, the ones that are fastened to the wall, and as a guide, you can figure about $399 per cabinet. So this is some basic math that will help you kind of guesstimate what the cost would be. But again, every single estimate is gonna be a little bit different because everyone's cabinets are set up in a different way. They have different shapes and sizes. And the last thing I'll throw in is that it is definitely more expensive if you have cabinets with glass in them because 
you have all these pieces of glass and then they have to individually sand in between each one and it takes almost twice as much time. Even though we don't charge twice as much, it's definitely gonna be more expensive than some of the pricing I gave you as a guideline. So again, I hope this was helpful for you because this is a great way to update the look of your property on a budget and get really great bang for your buck. Call, text, or email if you have any questions about this or if you'd like to schedule an appointment for an estimate. Reach out if you have any questions for me. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.